happy day. It's Monday, August 17th, and Beth is on vacation. So, get me again with my tea. I brought you an awesome, awesome tea cup to share. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. I love strawberry shortcake. <clears throat> it says, life is delicious. And it surely is. This is one, one of my favorites ever since I was little, little. Um, I used to have um, tea parties with my fellow Cabbage Patch dolls. Uh, who all loved me, of course. <laughs> Just like all of you. Thank you so much for all of your encouragement. I greatly appreciate it. it it's, it's a daunting task to follow Miss Beth. Uh, for a weekly encouragement, but here it goes. Nothing. Life is delicious. So I did want to talk to you guys about another one of the quadrants that were in the SWOT analysis that I talked about the last time um, we talked about failures. So strength and weaknesses, um, and then opportunities and threats. Um, so that bottom one was the one we talked about, but I wanted to talk about the upper one which is your blessings. What's the gifts that God specifically gave to you? What, what are your strengths? Um, because they could be paired with opportunities right now. One, it's one of the things that I've been struggling with recently with COVID. COVID is an opportunity for me. And I feel weird saying that, but it combines with my strength because right now technology is the thing to know. It's what's getting us through. It's what's keeping us connected. Our Zoom calls, our Google Classrooms and all of that stuff. And so it's one of the things that I know pretty well. Um, all these videos and editing and all of that. Uh, applicate, dealing with applications and computers um, is one of my strengths. Um, God also make me very good at organizing. I'm not sure what your strengths are um, and what could be paired with uh, different opportunities that are going on right now. But as I pray and I go through, um, one of the things that I hadn't been doing very often is praying for wisdom on how to use those and be good stewards of the blessings. Um, I'm pretty good at praying when God's giving me like, money like what what do you want to do with this you know being a good steward of that I'm pretty good at like praying about things I acquire like who could benefit from this or you know like how can I use this to bless other people but the gifts that God has like given me the way he's created me and this is one of the one of the scriptures that I have on my mirror every morning when I wake up, I'm reading it to myself, is Psalm 139, uh, 13 and 14. For you formed my inner parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works and my soul knows it very well. And that's a gift that those things that are inside you that you just do well without even thinking about them, without even, you know, taking too much time on it. Those are the things that God's gift, gifted you with, um, your strengths and your blessings. And how are we using those? And are we praying for wisdom from God to be a good steward of that? And, you know, I'm not always doing it because... Sometimes I just feel like it's easier for me to just do it. I'm good at it. Boom. Done. But did I follow what God's purpose was for me in that instance? I'll never know because I didn't pray and then listen to him. And that listening has been one of our, our key things. Listening to God. Are we listening? Are we spending time to listen? I'm horrible at it. I'll tell you that. Um, <laughs> I try, I try, I try, I try. Um, and so just continuing to get better listening. 
So in the fulfillment factor, Mike Kendrick says, every day outside the entrance of my office, a flurry of bees bops from one colorful flower to another to forage for nectar. When a bee visits a flower, some of the flower's pollen rubs off on a bee's fuzzy little belly. The bee then moves on to another flower and some of the pollen from his belly is transferred to the flower. Without this simple act of pollination, plants wouldn't give birth to seeds or fruit. Crops would fail and farmers would go bankrupt. It's incredible that God has given even the little bee a job to do. The amazing fact that approximately every three mouthfuls of food we enjoy is a direct result of pollination done by our fuzzy little friends. Let me ask you, does it make logical sense that because God has a job for these tiny bees, that he is a mission for you, the crown of his creation? And he goes on to uh, quote Ephesians uh, 2.10 and then adds a little on here. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, for which God prepared in advance for us to do prepared in advance before God spoke the Milky Way into existence before the earth was placed on its axis God planned you and he prepared you to do good works to his glory to glorify him it's so important for us to just in everything come to God and I know we're learning how to do that. And that prayer guide helps out so much for dif different disciplines that we may be good at and we may not be good at. But for those things that we're not, and even those things that we are, we still need to practice. And we still need to take the time. And we still need to learn and continue to offer it before God so that we can hear his wisdom on it. And if I'm not listening to him or you're not listening to him, then we're, we're not hearing how to be good stewards of the blessings that we've been given. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you. Thank you so much for the way that you've created us. We recognize each gift is given for a reason. And what should we do with these blessings we have received? Help us to be mindful of the moments to use them to advance the excellent work of God. Give us wisdom, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I pray that you would have a good week, and that you continue to seek God's wisdom and listen for him to speak to you on how to be good stewards of your gift.